Diva with Glam Enough, and today we're talking about skincare products for pregnancy and postpartum if you're nursing. But first, do I look different? I watched Beth's contour video, and I'm trying to get over my contour phobia, so I'm going to link Beth's video down below, and stay tuned for videos from me as I try to figure this all out. But now, on to today's topic. It was so much harder for me than I expected it to be to get information on skincare for use during pregnancy when I was first pregnant. So because of that, I'm going to share my top five tips. Tip number one, assess your skin now. Get rid of any preconceived notions you have about, well, I have dry skin, so I can't use that. And I have always had oily skin. Really focus on how your skin is now. Some women, because of the hormones, get that beautiful pregnancy glow and good for them, but the rest of us could be dealing with breakouts, sensitive skin, dry skin, all sorts of things. So forget about how your skin was and really focus on how it is now, and that will help you figure out how to treat it much more quickly. Tip number two, do your research. Find out what products are safe for use during pregnancy. There are products that have been proven to be unsafe. Some of them include retinoids, which are found in anti-aging products, and salicylic acid, which is often in acne products, skincare products. Both of these have been classified category C. There's a whole classification system for ingredients and their safety for use during pregnancy. And category C means that there is a link between that specific ingredient and birth defect. So that is obviously something you want to avoid during pregnancy. So talk to your medical professional and ask them what products should I be avoiding? And also do your own research because there's new information coming up all the time. That brings me to tip number three, read your labels. Just because a product you're using says natural or organic does not necessarily mean that it is safe for pregnancy, unfortunately. You really have to see what's in the products you're using. I also found it really helpful to go to brand websites. Frequently, they would have an FAQ section and then there would be a question that said, can this product be used during pregnancy? Sometimes they would have like a vague, answer like there are no contraindications for use during pregnancy and sometimes they would say oh this particular product has an ingredient that you should not be using many times they will say talk to your doctor to be sure and you should it's really important to read your labels and do the research on that oh. tip number four start cheap start at your supermarket start at your drugstore there are products there that will work out just fine for example if you're having dry skin look at oils whether you want to use olive oil, coconut oil, avocado oil, whatever it is, find out which oils are safe for use during pregnancy. If that moisturizes your skin, great. There are also all sorts of other products um, like honey, like apple cider vinegar, like witch hazel uh, that can help with toning your skin um, without the use of a lot of different chemicals. Start at the drugstore to see if there's products there that are right for you. Uh, there are lines there that are safe for pregnancy. For example, Birth Bees has a line called Mama Bee, which is specifically for pregnant women. Uh, when I was pregnant, I used their body oils and body butters, and they worked out great for me. Tip number five is to branch out. As I mentioned, there are products at the drugstore, at Sephora, at Ulta, that can be great for use during pregnancy, but there are also products that are specifically marketed toward pregnant women, and you can find those at baby stores, you can find them on Amazon, you can find them on different brand websites. So I'm gonna share with you some of my favorites. Uh, the first brand I wanna to talk to you about is called Mastella. This company has been around for a long time, and this is their stretch mark prevention cream. Can this prevent all stretch marks in all women? Not necessarily. Stretch marks can be hereditary. That said, a stretch mark cream certainly can't hurt, and keeping your bump moisturized will prevent that tight, itchy feeling that a lot of women get. Uh, Mustella also has really great product for uh, babies. I started using Mustella products when my daughter was a newborn and they've worked out wonderfully for her. And then the other Product, uh, product line I found that I really love and still use today while nursing is called Belly, B-E-L-L-I, Belly Skincare. And this is their Healthy Glow Facial Hydrators. is a lightweight moisturizing cream. Now the Mistella 
is fragrance free and I generally like that in products and it's nice when you have morning sickness to have fragrance free products. That said, Belly did a smart thing and they used fragrances that a lot of women can stand even when they're morning sick. For example, the Spatial Hydrator has a great citrus scent that I found really enjoyable even when I had morning sickness. Uh, and their products are allergy tested free of artificial dyes and fragrances phthalates and paraben preservative. Um, they also have an eye brightening cream right here. And this, they say, has a cucumber scent. I don't get a lot of cucumber from this, but I didn't find the scent obnoxious and it dissipated very quickly as soon as I applied it. Eye brightening creams were key, so I was glad to find this one. And finally, something else I continue to love from Belly is this Fresh Start pre-treatment scrub. This smells like peppermint and this was like my little spa day when I would use this in the shower. Now, a lot of body scrubs use sugar. So these particles um, are much finer. So you can even use this on your face, the company recommends. I prefer to use it on my body and this was a really, really enjoyable scrub for me uh, when I was pregnant and as I said, still now. And it's nice to use a scrub, it's invigorating at the time, and it helps your body oils or body butter, whatever you're slathering yourself with post-shower, sink in really nicely. So those are my top tips. I hope that they were helpful. If you have additional questions, please let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.